Hey guys and welcome back to Homes on Wheels. Today we have what we've been teasing you with for a while. The largest mobile home on the market. The Anias by Deer Valley Homes. Today we are at the home place in Pinson, Alabama. We're not going to spend a lot of time outside because of how loud the road noise is. But I do want to give you all a side shot to give you an idea of really how monstrous this thing is. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bath home that has 3,180 square feet. Now here's the thing, they offer it even larger. They say that it can go all the way up to a 4,100 square foot model, which is absolutely insane. This home is beautiful. Without any further ado though, let's go ahead and get inside and take a look around. Nice porch out here for sure. Shut the door, there we go, where we can get some of that road noise out. And right away, you can already tell this does not look like a mobile home at all. This home is absolutely beautiful. I think y'all are gonna love it. This living room is wall to wall with beautiful finishings. You can see that they have the shiplap look over there where the fireplace is. That is an electric fireplace. Very nice mantle. It is set up for your TV to be right there above that electric fireplace. You can see the cable connect as well as the wall plug. So you don't have wires hanging down that are kind of unsightly. You can see this wall over here is shiplap as well. And it leads right out to a really nice porch. We'll walk out there in just a second. The master bedroom is over there. We're going to save that for last. Just trying to do a little bit of a slow pan shot to not get in a rush to give you all a good general idea of the layout. So if you look down at the floor, it has a beautiful vinyl finished floor uh, or laminate and it really blends quite well with the light colors of the home. They've done a fantastic job of staging this home. The couches and everything are light colored. Uh, that goes really well with the floor and the shiplap look. Kind of continues that country style feel that you got from the exterior of the home. If you were to walk in the front door and take a right, you would walk into this really nice sized dining room. You can see that this is set up right now for six people, but I have no doubt you could fit an eight person table in here without a problem. The beams in the ceiling are a nice finish. And for those of you that are wondering before we go any further, Notice that the heat and air conditioning is in the ceiling of this home. Nice windows that overlook the front porch. And then from the dining room, you can turn around and look right into the kitchen. And this is probably one of the nicest kitchens that I've been in to date. If you look down, you have that barnwood look on the island, as well as the barnwood countertop that you see. It is set up to be kind of like an eat-in kitchen where you got places for two bar stools to sit right there at the island and eat. I'm sure you can tell that the sink is right there in the island. That is a nice double basin sink. Nice stainless steel. I know some people like a single basin, some like a double. I personally, I like the double. You can see that this home is decked out with frigid air appliances, all stainless steel. They are wrapped right now, that's why they look blue to protect them during transport. Nice cabinets too. Cabinets are all the way around the fridge. That countertop continues from the island onto the cabinets that are around the exterior walls. And one of the things about this home that is absolutely fantastic is the tile job. The backsplash is awesome. You can look over here, the oven is built in, as well as the microwave. As mentioned, they are all stainless steel. And the vent hood is wood. It is not stainless steel, which is nice. You can see the cooktop right here is built in. My wife is in love with these cooktops like this. She said they are just a breeze to clean. No cracks or crevices for crumbs or spills to get into. It's just something you can wipe very easily. 
Now, if we continue through the kitchen, through this hallway, y'all are gonna have to bear with me. There are not light bulbs in some of these rooms, but if you look right here to the left, get this where y'all can see a little bit better. There we go. There's a nice big pantry. It's got three shelves, got plenty of room for all of your food. And if you were to take a right, these are your utility closets to have your hot water heater and uh, heat and air return in there. There's your power panel box right here to the left. And a nice bathroom right here. This is a full bath, so it does have the toilet, the single piece shower unit, and the sink. So it's very nice. Plenty of room for if you've got guests and you want them to use this bathroom, this is probably where I would send them. And if you were to walk straight, you come into what I would consider a den. And this den is as big as most homes' living rooms. And this room's set up really nice. If you have kids too, and say you as the adult were in the main living room that we came from, you could send them into here let them watch whatever they wanted to watch on TV if they wanted to have a movie night in here while mom and dad are watching football or whatever they like to watch. Gives you a nice separation point. Right off of the den to the right is the first guest bedroom. And this is a really nice size room. I'll turn around and give you all a pan shot to give you an idea of how big it is. And please notate the large crown molding around the ceiling which is a very nice additive to most Deer Valley homes. Got a nice big walk-in closet. As you can see, this thing goes way back there. Plenty of room. No wire shelving, that is wood shelves. A lot of people like that. So if we walk back into the family room or the den right here, and we walk over here to the right, got a nice big closet I don't know what you put in there I guess you could put whatever you wanted to <laughs> there's so many storage places in this home it's quite ridiculous and here instead of having the white ship lap you kind of have more of the barn wood look and this would probably be the wall if you were gonna put a TV in here to put it right here if you walk through this door right here you walk into the laundry room now this home does have an exterior door right here on the end of the home which is really nice if you ever want to build a garage or a carport off your home if you look right over here, this is where your washer and dryer would go. Lots of working space in here. Nice big deep sink as you can see. They've got a bench set up right here. I'm sure you could probably, if you wanted to, not have that there and put a deep freeze. That would be up to you. But if you were going to use this as a mudroom and say you did build a carport like we mentioned, it would be nice to be able to walk right in here, hang your coat up there, sit down and be able to kick your boots off without tracking it through the rest of the home. We're now going to walk into the second bedroom. And this is another good sized bedroom with another quite large closet. Another nice walk in closet. There again, even in the guest rooms, there is no wire racks in the closets. And this is a Jack and Jill style bedroom between the second and the third guest bedrooms. So it does have two sinks and those really nice cabinets, they just continue throughout the entire home. Here's your toilet over here. I kind of like the cream style toilet instead of the white. What do y'all think about that? Do you like the cream fixtures or do you like the white fixtures? Let us know in the comments below. Nice big tub. This is much larger than normal. Single piece unit and it is cream colored like the rest of the fixtures in this particular bathroom. Nice big closet right here. Plenty of room for extra towels, your shampoos, any of that kind of stuff. And right here is the third guest bedroom. And if it were me, I'd probably use this one as an office, but there again, I do only have one kid. Do a little bit of a pan shot for y'all where y'all can take a look around. Nice size room though, without a doubt. And yet another walk-in closet. Now y'all think these closets are awesome. I'm going to tell y'all, y'all are going to be blown away when we get into this master bedroom. It is by far the biggest closet and probably bathroom combo that we have been into. Let's take a look at this porch out here on the back. 
And this is a good size porch back here too. Y'all probably can't tell, but it looks like it's about 10 foot. We are gonna have the floor plan that pops up at the beginning of the video. Feel free to go back and pause it to get the exact dimensions of each size of these rooms and porches. One thing to mention is croft windows throughout this home, which are really nice. Croft's been in business for over 100 years. This porch is big enough though, you could put lawn furniture out here, a grill on one side. Heck, if you even wanted to, you could probably put a nice outdoor ping pong or pool table out here and have plenty of room for it. So without any further ado though, let's go ahead and head into the master suite. And I know a lot of people, if you're like me, this is one of your favorite parts of the home and this one does not disappoint. Shut this door, give y'all a little bit of a pan shot. There's plenty of room between the windows over there. If you wanted your bed to be over there, you could, or against that wall. I like having the furniture in here though. It gives y'all a much better view as to the actual size of the home. Now this is the part that's probably gonna be most exciting, at least for our female viewers, but I'm not gonna lie. Me as a male, I'm pretty excited too. <laughs> so we turn around and you go, okay, what's on this whole other quarter of the house? I'd say at least 25% of this home is this bathroom and this master closet. And it is gigantic. It is so big, you would not believe. You do have your two sinks in here, the nice, beautiful cabinets that are continued. Three mirrors across the top. Again, I do apologize for the low lighting in here. Nice, big, tiled shower in here. As you can see, it does have the rain head shower head. It does have the removable shower head over there to the side, so if you are disabled, that is not a problem. It does have a really big bench in there. And I love the fact that this bathroom actually has a really wide doorway. So no issues if you had to get a wheelchair in here. Right next to the shower is the massive tub. Now we call them garden tubs. Some people call them different things, but this thing is huge. It does have the nice slope back. It does have spots for your arms on both sides. If you missed it, I climbed in one of these in one of the previous videos or in the live stream. I can't remember which one. And it literally would be up to my neck in water if you were to fill that tub all the way up. Over here is your toilet closet. So it's a much wider toilet closet than you typically get. So if you're claustrophobic, this is definitely the home for you. So here is the Taj Mahal of closets. I know I've been hyping it up and I don't think it's gonna disappoint. You get over here in the corner and do a bit of a pan shot again for y'all, just because this home is so large, I have to take the camera and swing it from one side to the other. We are filming in wide format too, just to get you the most visual that you can possibly get. So things may look a little bit curved, but I think for this home, it was completely necessary for us to do this. As you can see, no wire racks anywhere in sight. Over here to this side, you got an area, and I'm sure my wife would probably stick me with that side, and she would take all this over here for herself. <laughs> Plenty of room for shoes over there. Again, you do have a nice built-in bench that has up there right at the top. I like that because that looks like railroad spikes. A place to put your uh, jackets and stuff like that. And in what other home have you ever seen a closet inside of a closet? <laughs> Super cool. By far the biggest closet that we've ever been in, and I'm absolutely blown away by it. Let us know in the comments below, do you, would you like to have a closet this big? Now that we've looked at the entire home though, let's go ahead and go in here and talk about pricing. If you're as impressed by this home as I am, without a doubt, you know that there's gonna be a pretty good size price tag on it. But if you keep in mind with how much lumber and stuff is right now when it comes to labor, I, I think this is a fantastic price. I think it would cost almost twice this price to build a home like this. So currently, as of today, the day of filming, the price is $275,900. Now with COVID, everything's changing daily. So this is at the time of filming. If you have any further questions, I'm gonna leave the contact info for the home place below. Now keep in mind, they service all of Alabama and part of Georgia. If you are gonna look for a Deer Valley outside of that realm, you are gonna to have to look in different areas. And that's just part of the deal. Sorry, guys. <laughs> when it comes to filming stuff like this, we are limited to the area that we're in. So if you enjoyed the tour, though, and you're not subscribed, be sure that you are. If you want to 
follow us along to our next home, there's going to be a video right up here. Click that video and we're going to go tour another home right now.